Oh man, look at that. That's the other shit we have to go through. When your needle breaks, and now the needle's inside the insulin. So, so much for giving myself a shot. But one of the things I like to start off with, I fast. So I pretty much fast for almost 14 hours a day, almost every day. I haven't tried it, what are you doing? Get on it. What I like to do, I like to start off with some turmeric. Turmeric is amazing for inflammation in the body, healing everything, uh, keeping things more balanced in the body, lowering stress levels, lowering cortisol overall. Put that in. And then I also like to have a little shilajit right in the morning too. I don't know if you guys ever heard of shilajit. Shilajit's amazing because it's got fulvic acid in it. Really good for absorption as well. So I have these shilajit honey sticks, but you can get regular shilajit, but I'll pop one of these in my tea. I ran out of honey anyway, so these are great because it's got honey in it. Again, Shilja has fulvic acid in it, which is really good for just absorption of nutrients, of minerals, all that good shit. So if you guys want to try some too, I'll put a link down below of everything that I, that I took today so you guys know what's up. And you guys can't see I'm a gatekeeper at the end of the day. We're going to pop off the top just like that with the Shilja sticks. Then we just drop the Shilja in here. Ooh, look at that. What I also like to do is add ginger. Ginger is great as an anti-inflammatory. Again, helping balance the body, heal the body overall. Really good thing you guys can do to start the day. A weapon of choice right here. We're gonna use this grater. We got a little bit on the counter, but that's okay because my cat will probably just eat it. Wait for this bad boy to finish boiling. And he dribbles things back. Boom, pops it up. Game over. Bet you guys didn't know I was a baller. Hopefully this thing's almost done. I'm just getting impatient. So we're gonna go here. That, that's simple guys. Now I'm gonna let this sit for a bit. It'll probably cool off. We're gonna go upstairs. I got a, I'm finishing a book for type one diabetics. The book's called Thrive Powerful T1D Solutions. When I say that this book is gonna change lives, I mean that. So I'll drop a link too so you guys can get early access to it. I'm really selling it for a dollar. Frederick Banting, the inventor of insulin, sold the patent for insulin for one dollar because he believed that everyone should have access to insulin who's a diabetic. And today we see outrageous prices and crazy shit like that. So I wanted to kind of piggyback off where he was going with that. Yo, Tetley. Oh, she ain't putting up my shit right now. We'll test the blood sugar real quick. Let's see where we're at. That dawn phenomenon effect in the morning. Sometimes it hits me a little harder than other days. Probably wondering why do I have a brush here? Let's see where we're at here. All right guys, so right now we're at a 7.4. Not bad because again, I was a little bit lower, lower in the morning around four, so I gave myself some insulin just to get ahead of it because that's my own body's diabetic pattern zone. I know that no matter what I'm doing, I got a huge cortisol hit in the morning. So many times I'll wake up and intuitively kind of sense how my body feels and I know that if I don't give myself insulin, the blood sugar will run away from me by the afternoon. As I like to call this room, the party room, because we don't party in here. It's literally just on the laptop getting stuff done. So welcome to the party room. Exciting. Time to eat. I've been fasting for about 16 hours, so we're gonna get something to eat. I'm gonna have a little bit of chicken, so I got a chicken breast here. I'm actually gonna get some pasta because I'm feeling Italian today. A little reggaeton. We got a little bit of reggaeton. Don't ever do that again, right? Okay, that's what I thought. Two cups of this pasta, that's gonna net me about 90 grams of carbohydrates, just about. So we'll give ourselves some insulin for that. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and just do the insulin right away because sometimes I like to do about five to 10 minutes before I'm eating. I feel like it helps to avoid like quick spikes. You know, like with the quick spike that happens and it comes down, getting the insulin right away can help to avoid that. So I'm gonna go ahead, dial this up. 90 divided by seven, I'm not a mathematician. So, and my phone is dead, so that sucks. Uh, 14, it's a little bit more than 45. Boom, it is what it is. I get pre-made chickens, it just makes my life easy. We'll put that in there. This is gonna be about like 40 grams of protein. If you cannot measure it, do not eat it. Be mindful. It's not actually rigatoni, it's just penne, but I like to say rigatoni, I don't know what it is. Don't judge me. You heard of two chains? I'm two cups. Anyway, pop this in the microwave. Still waiting on our chicken. I'll get back to you guys in a bit. Like fucking new. If you guys ever need anything cleaned in your house, do not call me, please. Oh, I just got sauce on my glucometer, fuck's sakes. Give me a break, Naman. 5.0, that's good blood sugar before we eat. We got a 5.0 right there. Again, fasted early, have my shilajit early. Helps to keep things stable. Yum, drigetone. Yeah, one more thing I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna have actually a protein shake too. So my protein intake at this meal is gonna be about 60 to 70 grams of protein. 
This, this is a whey protein isolate. Bro, this is so good by Limitless Pharma. Some of the cleanest protein you're ever get, gonna get and the best tasting protein powder you're ever gonna have. I'm gonna put that in the shaker cup. I got protein powder on my floor, man. I'm, I'm fucked up, guys. Just save me from myself at this point. Two scoops in there. Tastes delicious, man. This one's the flavor I have here. It, oh, fuck. Bro, are you serious, guys? Look what I just did. My cat's gonna be drinking protein powder for weeks. <laughs> gonna go to the gym right now. Let's test the blood sugar, let's see where it's at. And I gotta show you guys something crazy. You guys are gonna love it, so stick around. We're at 6.4 right now, not bad. Which is actually kind of where I don't mind it to be before going to the gym, and we'll see what happens. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, look who it is. Oh, shit. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. That's my buddy. Telly, you wanna say something to the camera? Feed me, asshole. So just headed over to the gym. Right now, we're gonna get a quick lift in. Going to a spot called Fusion Fitness. So I don't really have a big meal outside of the chicken and the, the pasta and then the protein shake I had earlier. Just gonna wing it and just doing some triceps and shoulders today. So we'll see what happens. Uh, blood sugar is not bad going in, so we'll see what's going on. And then at the end, you know, we'll test and see what the what the workout did to the blood sugar and just make adjustments when we have to. Almost like an intuitive thing for me sometimes. So I feel like uh, based on my own body, last time I ate, no insulin on board, likely have glycogen in my muscles from the pasta that I had earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself like two units of insulin uh, because I believe that the workout will just try to spike my blood sugar a little bit just as a result of having that glycogen in my system from all the pasta that I had with no, like no active insulin on board right now outside of the long acting. So I'm gonna go ahead, we'll draw this up. And yo, if you're a diabetic, you man, and you take needle injections, you've done this once or twice. Your knee has been on this, oh man, look at that. That's the other shit we have to go through. When your fucking needle fucking breaks and now the needle's inside the insulin. So, so much for giving myself a fucking shot. So we find another needle, so we're gonna try that again. Go to the gym. Now I'm just gonna dial up two units like I told you guys because I genuinely believe my body's gonna release a little bit of glycogen here. So I'd rather just kind of get ahead of it to be honest with you. So I got myself a few units here. They got a lot of roundabouts here, so you always gotta kinda, I come from a city where you have stop, stop lights. Over here is like Europe, so I don't really have stop lights. Everywhere's a roundabout. It's pretty cool. Do some donuts in the middle of the night. Just don't tell the cops. I just finished a workout. I changed my outfit because I had to do a shot uh, for a company. So we're done today. A little bit of triceps. We're gonna head out, probably get some burrito boys. My camera might die, but we're not burrito boys. I'm gonna bolus, give myself my insulin for that. About 170 grams of carbohydrates. One burrito that I'm getting from burrito boys. So we'll dose up. It might be about around 22 units of insulin. A blood sugar pulse workout was a 10 point Two. So it's a little bit higher than I would want, would have wanted it today. But as you guys can see, it's a good example of what your body does, especially if you don't have any active insulin on board. I had had the pasta, so the two cups of pasta you guys saw earlier, but there was no more active Humalog on board. I Meaning there's a lot of glycogen in my muscle cells that were being stored for this workout. Uh, and so coming to the gym, that got released into my blood. And even though I was a 6.4 before my workout, I still gave myself three units of insulin because I was trying to get ahead of the glycogen release, but I should have probably gave myself two units more to help to control it a little bit better. But that's all good. I gave myself a correction dose when I got in the car as well. So typically one unit drops me by two MMOLs. So I gave myself five because I'm just accounting for still a little bit more glycogen spillage, but it should help to start bringing that number down again, uh, back into more normal ranges a little bit later on. All right, guys, appreciate you guys riding with me today. So I'm gonna test my blood sugar again um, after we went ahead and, and gave some corrections after the gym. Bring it down to normal ranges before we grab something to eat here, which is all good. The best thing that I can say, guys, and I'm feeling a little, little tired tonight, I had a few calls, a bunch of videos I had to film for this company, it was crazy. But we're putting everything together now. So now I'm 5.6, so that's good. Uh, remember at the end of the day, uh, you know, diabetes is not a perfect science, but understanding certain things to help to 
bring your blood sugar back in is the most important thing you can do and knowing your ratios can help you guys to do that. Be intuitive with your own body too on what you feel like you need. Uh, just like I was 6.4 but I knew my blood sugar was gonna go high, just a result of what I ate before, you guys do the same thing, you know, and nothing's perfect, I'm not perfect, I'm, I'm, I learn every day about my body uh, and I think that that allows us to be um, great at what we do and thrive through diabetes and not just be in survival modes, you know? So, hey, that's just a day in the life of for today. I still gotta get a consult call in. It's uh, 12 a.m., but I got a few clients in, in Australia, so I'm gonna do a call at 1 a.m. Uh, and then also, I gotta finish up a few things. We got the book on the way as well, so you guys look out for that. So it's called Thrive, Powerful Solutions for T1D, because a lot of misconceptions out there with, with type one diabetes. But guys, I'm gonna go ahead and give my cat a hug, and we're gonna call it a wrap. Bye-bye, Deadly. Say bye-bye, Deadly. Bye-bye.